Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In this tutorial video for the RadioMaster MT12 we're going to look at driving modes and global variables. These are very useful because a global variable you put one figure, figure in um, into the global variables and that can be used across different mixes on your radio. Now this is very much more relevant for a model aeroplane rather than a car but it is useful and I want to do, to do a video to let you know that you can actually do this. You may have ideas uh, that you'll be able to use this if you add a model tank or, or something um, other than sort of a straightforward forward and backward and left and right RC car. So let's switch over to the MT12 and let's do this. Now let's take a look at the driving modes and the global variables. I'm going to hit the model key and we're going to go across until we get to the drive modes. Now the drive mode 0 and 1 are to do with disarmed and we've discussed that in a previous video on setting up a, a model. And you can see now we have drive mode 2 and 3. The first one expert and the next one is novice. So if I edit those, you can see I typed in the name expert. I chose the switch FL2 in the forward position for expert. And if we go down and you can see global variables. Now here it's got its own global variable. So in there, in D, uh, driver mode 2, the value for the global variable is 100. So you would go manually put that in. If we come back out and go to the novice, do the same. You see we type the name in, we put the switch in the opposite position. But now you'll see it's got its own global variable. Now global variables can be the same for all modes or you pick individual ones. So I think you can probably see where this is going. This is going to give the, if you're in um, novice mode, it's going to give half the throttle to make it easier to drive the uh, RC car. So if we come out and now we're going to go over two mixes and you can see on channel one our throttle instead of saying 100 there it says global variable one so you would need to edit this go into where the weight is of 100 and then change it to the global variable one this allows it to change when we change mode the driving mode it changes how far the throttle will uh, operate everything else here is just normal the defaults and we're going to go across to the special functions. Now, if we go down, you can see here, I have put special functions in to play the tracks. So you can see it's DM3, DM2, play track, play track, and then novice and expert. You will not have those sounds in the radio because they are ones that I've made up myself. And I do have a video that shows you how to, to do that. So if we go over, and that is it. That's everything you need to do to be able to do this. So now let's demonstrate. If we come out and we go to our channel screens. So at the moment we're disarmed. So we've got to arm. Whatever we do, we have to arm. So that's armed. And it tells us we're in expert mode. So if I move the um, throttle, you'll see it goes to full throttle, reverse and forward. But if I flick the switch for, to novice mode, novice mode, now I use actuate the throttle, you can see it's only half. So you obviously could change that 50 to whatever proportion uh, amount you wanted to, but now now reduces the throttle, which would make it easier for maybe a young child to learn to, to drive the car. Uh, and then of course, when, you want, when the dad wants to get back to it, they can do that and they'll forget it or flat out. So that's it. I do hope you found that video useful and if you did give it a thumbs up and if you didn't give it a thumbs down and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, happy driving, bye for now.